Hello everybody and welcome back to Advanced Maths. Today we're looking at sin, cos and tan graphs. We're going to start by plotting the graph y equals sine of x between 0 and 360. For GCSE Maths, you only need to know this graph between 0 and 360. Notice the scales I'm using. I'm going from minus 1 to 1 on the y-axis, and on the x-axis I'm going up in 90s. 90, 180, 270, and 360. This is because sin, cos, and tan are about angles. They come from trigonometry, and angles generally go up in 90, 180, 270, 360. So there is a little relationship there between angles and the graphs. I'm going to use a table of values. I'm going to go up in uh, the in 90s for 0, 90, 180, 270, 360 for the x's. I'm going to use that to find the y values. When you're plotting a graph, you always start with a table of values. So let's do this. Using our calculator, we're going to start by putting in sine of 0, sine of 90, sine of 180, sine of 270, and sine of 360. You can try this yourself. You can fill out this table of values yourself using your calculator. Now we plot those coordinate pairs like this, and we draw a nice smooth curve connecting those coordinates. Now I'm going to do y equals cos of x between 0 and 360. And again, I'm going to use a table of values. And for the interest of time, I've just filled out that table of values here using my calculator. Exactly the same as before. I plot those coordinates and I connect it with a nice smooth curve. This is what the cos of x graph looks like. Now finally, I'm going to look at the tan of x graph. And here I've just adjusted the y-axis slightly because it goes a bit higher and a bit lower. So I've done it between minus 2 and 2. And so I'm filling out the table of values at the bottom of the screen, using my calculator, and I get this. Notice that at 90 and 270 degrees, uh, the tan of it, tan function doesn't have a value. So when you type in tan of 90 into your calculator, or tan of 270, you get no answer. It says maths error. And so we just leave that blank. You should try that yourself, just so you believe me. We fill in the coordinates, plot the coordinates like this, and then connect it with a smooth curve. The curve will look like that. Notice that there are lines here at 90 and 270. These are called asymptotes. You don't need to draw these asymptotes in your exam, but it's interesting to know they are there. They are lines that the graph will never touch. The graph will just curve away from them get really close, but never touch them. So that's the tan of x graph. Our three graphs are the sine of x graph, which looks a bit like an s to me. So remember that sine of x graph looks like an s. I have the cos of x graph, and I have the tan of x graph. Notice that the sin and cos graph, or sine and cos graph, are exactly the same shape, but shifted horizontally. They're just shifted side to side a little bit, but they are the same shape. The tan of x graph is a completely different shape. It's the odd one out. All three graphs repeat forever, so they don't just stop at 360. They keep going for ever and ever and ever, repeating in the same shape, in the same pattern. However, as I say, you only need to know up to 360 for GCSE. That's everything from today's video. So what I'd like to do is pause the video and try these activities yourself. Task 1, I want you to uh, go through the sin, cos and tan graphs using a calculator to find a table of values and use a pencil, ruler and graph paper to plot and sketch those graphs. Task 2, I'm going to match the five equations at, at the top with the five sketches at the bottom to match those graphs up. You will need to know your s s quadratic graphs, cubic graphs and reciprocal graphs to do this correctly. 
Pause the video now and do this yourself. When you're ready, you can press play and I'll reveal the answers in three, two, one. Did you get it correct? Let me know how well you did in the comments below. Thanks for watching this week's video from Advanced Maths. Remember to like and subscribe so you don't miss any future videos. We're covering GCSE, A level, and IB maths with quick and simple videos, and new videos will be coming very soon. You can also check out advancedmaths.com for our latest resources. Thanks for watching, and good luck in your exams.